Good Friday is good for the alienated souls. This particular verse is difficult to understand. <clears throat> but if you see it with a particular perspective, based on the Bible verses, it's very simple. <clears throat> Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabakthani is an Aramaic and it is the language that Jesus used and he spoke in Aramaic. That was his more own mother tongue. So when he was enduring mental agony, his own language, his mother tongue came out and helped the people to understand his mental agony and his anguish. Now this particular verse <coughs> is not jump, it's just a a repetition of what we see in Psalm 22, 1. Sometimes people say, oh, he was just repeating what was there in the Bible. And some others say, you know, he was a representative of humankind. He was just saying that on behalf of us, he was just simply saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And they say many times people say that. Even in the present context, you know, sometimes uh, when people face some problem or some sickness, they think God has forsaken them. No. God will never forsake us. But people imagine that God has forsaken them and God is not answering their uh, request or prayer, God has abandoned them. He was not simply saying on our behalf that God is Father, God has forsaken him. Now I would like to explain it <clears throat> through one Bible verse. In Isaiah chapter 59, there we read Isaiah saying, your iniquity separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you. What he was trying to say is that, <clears throat> that sin com comes in between us and God. God wants to have a good relationship with us. We want God's blessing. But, what separates people from God or you from God is the sin. It's like a cloud. It's like a cloud. In the midday, the sun shines, but suddenly it gets dark because the cloud, a black cloud, hides the sunlight from us. It's not that sun is not shining, it's there, it's shining. But in between we have a dark cloud. In the same way, many a time, our sin comes in between God and us. He says, don't think God has a short hand. No, it's not that God is not willing to bless you. He has an outstretched arm to bless each and every one of us. But this is what he says. Your sin comes in between uh, you and God. So you are abandoned. That's why enemies kill you. That's why your nation has been taken by other people of different races. That happened in the life of the Israelites. Now here we see Jesus Christ hanging on the cross. He had to experience all kinds of pain and suffering. He has experienced physical pain. They were beating him, mocking at him, blood was oozing out from his body, he was ridiculed, 
so he experienced physical pain at the same time there is another dimension that is mental pain mental agony this particular verse clearly tells that jesus not only experienced physical pain for you and me he also experienced mental pain there is a story uh, it's an imaginative story for the little kids that clearly explains the the <clears throat> the power of mental agony the king challenged a minister to show a proof that there is called mental pain so the minister <clears throat> went out and he threw a ring his own ring and he was looking searching for it so that someone would come and ask him what he was searching for so as he thought a person came and asked him what are you looking for the minister said i am looking for a magical ring i got it from a saint and it has a power whoever will wear that ring will be the king so i got it blessed by a saint as i was coming i lost it because i wanted to be the king wearing that ring now i lost it so the other person also was started searching and he also believed in that so the minister allowed him to pick it up he simply let him have it. the person took the ring and he didn't give it to the minister he put the ring in his finger and said i am going to be the king and he started running towards the palace and when he entered into the royal court the king was sitting there he pushed him away and sat on the throne and said i am the king from now on words the king was wondering what is this happening and the minister was running behind him and catching him beating him kicking him but that person came and uh, threw over the king from the throne so when the king asked him asked the minister what is all this the simply he, the minister simply said king i just told him a lie that this the ring that he is wearing is a magic ring and whoever wears it will be the king and he, uh, the king asked him is it true yes it is true. and the minister said i told him a lie it's not at all a magic ring it's an ordinary ring when the person heard it the person who was sitting on the throne he became unconscious and fell down see the power of mental agony is more than the physical pain many a time we can bear the physical pain but not the mental pain many a time people hurt us that pain is more powerful than the physical pain that we experience many a time we can bear the physical pain but not the mental pain it was freud who said sigmund freud he said <clears throat> we are disturbed in our mind in three different ways we lose our peace in mind one physical illness physical pain or illness or sickness that you experience in your body and the second one he said because of the circumstances what happens around you it could be uh, earthquake or plague or tsunami whatever it is or price rise whatever it is what happens around you can disturb your mind you will lose your peace then he also said when you don't have a good interpersonal relationship with other people it could be your own family members it could be others when you don't have a good interpersonal relationship with other people your mind is disturbed you lose your peace 
but unfortunately he said <coughs> because of these three things you don't have peace in this world but we don't accept that we don't accept freud's uh, statement we believe in jesus christ we can experience god's peace he was forsaken so that we might not be forsaken okay never never forget that he was forsaken because the sins of whole humanity has come in between father god and him father god had to leave him so that he could experience mental agony also so dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus took everything on himself whatever we have to experience he has taken upon himself whether it be physical pain pain or mental pain so that we could be reconciled with god we could be children of god so that we could have a good relationship with god the father let's keep a moment of silence jesus said i will be with you always till the end of this age god says do not fear i am with you i will never forsake you jesus experienced forsakenness so that we might not be forsaken lord thank you for experiencing not only physical pain but also mental pain you experience forsakenness because we might not be forsaken thank you lord in jesus name we pray amen